G'day guys, Rusty from Lawn Pride. Today I'm on site at Mick Hancock's. Just recently he had a, uh, a renovation conducted here at, a, at, at his property. And basically we got the renovation done. We noticed it hasn't been quite recovering as well as it should. And on further inspection, obviously, um, we found another pest that some people tend to forget about. We all know armyworm, curl grub. Well, there is another pest uh, that can be quite difficult to control uh, once it's in your turf or in your home lawn. Now that's cooch mite. Uh, so Mick's got some cooch mite, cooch mite uh, in all four pots out the front here on the nature strip. It's kindly barricaded off today because we are going to treat the lawn because what we want to do with cooch mite is get on top of them sooner rather than later. Now it's going to be hard to see but obviously in my right hand we've got a nice healthy bit of cooch where you know the leaf is promoting that the, the stems elongated and what happens is is cooch mites they're microscopic so you can't see them um by oh you need a, need a microscope and what they do is they live down in beside in behind the uh, the sheath and the and the stem of the plant um and they populate very very quickly especially in dry weather and what they do is actually feed on the plant and they inject a, a, a toxin into your turf um now they they are known as cooch mite, but that doesn't mean other varieties of warm season grass can't get cooch mite either. We have seen them in Buffalo, have seen them in Kaikuyu. Um, and what essentially what they'll do is it, it's widely known as witch's broom. And it's where the, the, the leaf will basically, where the toxin's been injected, the leaf will hug the plant and, and basically come back down to one of those. It'll give the appearance of one of those old school witch's brooms. Um, now, what do we do about it? Now, you've got to be careful. You can traffic mite very, very easily. So, your mowing equipment, if you have to mow uh, and you've found that you've got cooch mite, obviously just give the mower um, a, a hose down or a clean. Uh, always disperse of your clippings. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to treat it with a product that's very, very effective called Malice Duo. Uh, basically, it's got abomectum and clofentazine in it. So we're gonna take control of the adult population as well as the eggs. So we're gonna break that cycle. Depending on the infestation levels, probably need a secondary application. And it's very, very good to use as a preventative. Very low rates too, uh, 13 mil per 100 square meters. When you are treating your mites, especially with Malice Duo, ensure you read the label. Uh, make sure you wear the correct PPE. Uh, we've got the danger tape up today because we are spraying on the footpath and public safety is 101. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of surfactant in with the uh, the Malice Duo so that we, we can ensure that we get the product to sit where we need it to and uh, start the control of cooch mite and get mixed lawn back into recovery. If you've got cooch mite or you may think you've got cooch mite, shoot us an email, we'll be able to uh, identify it for you. We also have a blog uh, available on the website, which gives you a brief rundown of cooch mite and some uh, some very good photos there, so you can help identify it. Well, that's me. I've got to get my PPE on and uh, treat mixed lawn. Cheers. <laughs>